running Arminator on the Mac. Start by going here, netpst.org wiki. Go to downloading and using, and download these two items, MacAU plugins and NetVST host for Mac. I've already done it. This download takes a long time, so I'm not going to show it. You want to get Arminator itself on your Mac, so just go here. Click on Arminator, and once again, I've already done it, so I'm not going to bother with that. Then you're done with Chrome. In your Downloads folder, you'll now find these three zips. Double-click them all to open them. Again, I've already done it. Arminator, unzip to this folder. NetAU unzip to this folder, which I'm showing the contents of right now. It has these two component items in it. And NetVST host Mac unzipped to this NetVST host. It's an application. You need to move these or copy these two component items. These are these are your plugins to your user library audio plugins components folder. I just dragged and dropped them in into there. If you don't see your user, if I don't see library in here, I gotta do something here. Under view, show view options, and choose show library folder. That's important or else that, that library folder won't appear. I'll go ahead and uh, open my downloads folder again. I'm gonna double click on net VST host. The first time you run it, it'll, your Mac will probably complain that you need to uh, authorize the, the because it's from an unknown developer and so on. That's the usual procedure with your Mac. Also, the first time you run it, it'll have some setup to do, so it'll take a lot longer than it just did on mine. But eventually, you'll get to this point. Devices menu up here. Choose network. And in here, It'll usually come up with this first item, loopback, selected, okay? What you want to do is you want to scroll down to the first one that has a real number in it. In this case, it's 192, 168, 1, 141. It might be anything on your machine, okay? I have copied that over to this little sticky note right here because we're going to need it later. Once you select that and hit OK, I'm going to run Arminator. Finding this folder can be a little tricky, but basically you want to go to the slash item users, your whatever your username is, downloads, that's your downloads folder, that's where, where we put it, and then inside Arminator, I've got arminator.dll, so I load it. This is what comes up first, if you want to see the whole UI, you hit this little knob button here, and you get this, you can resize it if you want. Okay. Let's run Logic Pro. Make a new fold, make a new uh, project. We'll choose empty project. It always comes up says, "What do you, you, what kind of a track do you want?" Let's, we want a software instrument, and I'm going to choose this one, Net Synth, which is one of the ones, one of the audio units plugins I put in. Say, so select that, make it. You'll get this UI. It, it may also come up saying. 127001 or something like that. It doesn't matter. You can just double click these. Where's my where's my remembered guy here? Okay, it's 192, 168, 1, 141. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna double click. You can use the, the sliders as well if you want, but you probably don't want to. 192 tab. 168 is already what we want. One is already what we want. We have to change this one for one. It may be different for your machine, doesn't matter. Just match whatever you had in the other program. Once you're done editing, just click anywhere, click in any blank area to, to uh, deactivate the edit. Now you want to hit on off. The first time you do it, it may not work. Let's do it like a couple times. Okay, when it's on, now I'm going to press a key on my MIDI keyboard. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I can hear sound from from uh, Arminator now. If I want, I can change. I can go back here and look at the GUI and change things. Let's see, what will I change? How about, well, let's just change the patch. Um, let's go to patches, choose maybe fluty. Change this resonance, for example. I don't know, I have to find something that works, but it doesn't make any difference. And if I want to actually record it, I can do that. Go back in here, just record normally. back my beautiful con composition here. And there you are. When you're done, make sure to turn this off before you close up. You can save your project like that if you want and it'll come up and remember these numbers. And when you're done here, just Close normally, you're finished.